Okay, so what I wanted to do was a quick video. I noticed some really interesting behavior um, in comparing the Rivet Tuner Statistics Server's uh, frame rate limit versus the Radeon settings, um, uh, f uh, basically their, let me, <laughs> their target frame rate, okay, control. Now, I was playing some chivalry here a little while ago, and you can see I had a really nice steady 60 frames per second, pretty solid. Then I decided to go mess around. Now that might have been me just exiting the game, but then when I turned on the frame rate target control, I saw a lot more jittery frame rates and it kind of dropped. Now this is with them both enabled. So there might be some conflicts here. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn them off totally. And I'm going to so I'm going to basically put this at 0. Sorry. So I've got uh, target frame rate control off. I'll verify that. I'm, and again, I'm just going to use Chivalry, um, which is probably not the best game to test this with, but it's decent enough. I've been having pretty good, uh, pretty good go with this. And then when we look at Chivalry just to make sure it doesn't have frame rate control. Also, by the way, this is the updated AMD Radeon settings that just came out on the sixth. Um, I'm having, you know, I'm using a Fury X. Uh, the experience has been quite good um, with the new. I haven't had any issues at all. I was having some issues with uh, black screens because of some sort of strange, like, uh, low power state. Um, but so far, so good. So what I'm going to do is I'll end up pausing this video, and we'll go back and again, and I'll record my uh, thing because I don't need, I can't have the recording on and it cut my frame rate or affect the frame rate. So I want you guys to see with VSync only and not uh, frame rate targeting uh, how well the game's uh, performance is and how smooth it is compared to these two instances. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just played a quick round on Chivalry and what we see was, um, again, without the frame rate limit on by de default and without any uh, target frame rate setting on by default, uh, we got some really s super stable 60 frames per second. I mean, it's a similar experience here. Um, I did have a frame rate limit uh, on Rivet st uh, Tuner Statistics Server uh, at the time, and I this is what I was experiencing. Then, then I left the game, or actually I tabbed out of the game, went back, and had this uh, experience with the frame rate target control. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with frame rate target control enabled. And not at 50 frames, 55 frames. I don't know why that's the default. But from everything I've seen and, and looked at, it, again, it's a target frame rate control. You're trying to hit that right at 60 frames. You might go over, you might go under. It's not perfect if you're just V-Sync. And even if you had free sync or something along those lines, you're still going to deal with this variation in frame timing um, that you know will affect if you're going to hit exactly 60 frames per second. So... What we're going to do is, again, we're going to put this at exactly 60 frames per second, and I'm going to uh, pause the video for a minute, and we're going to go back and try again, same thing, with um, just see what the frame rate target control does uh, and how it affects the experience. I'll be back. Okay, so this is really interesting and at the same time disturbing. Um, so what we found, at least, let's... Uh, expand the full results here. The first part of this uh, graph shows me playing Chivalry uh, and playing with just the frame rate limit on the RRTSS uh, settings on to 60. I have I put it at 62 at the time because I like to give it a, just in case. It's just a limit. I don't want to actually like crush 60. I want to have it a little bit of leeway, prevent other games from acting dumb. But it was really, really stable. It was effectively just as stable as if I had the frame rate limit off. Now, when I enabled the frame rate target control on Radeon settings, what I saw was much less stable. Now, I, want, I wasn't really sure if this was really happening. I thought maybe the game tripped out when I tabbed in and out. But as you can see, this looks very much not as stable as... Uh, is as the previous. Then I went again just a minute ago and I went back in and I said, okay, I'm going to try it without any uh, frame rate limiter at all 
and obviously that was good for uh, you know chivalry is good at doing v-sync so it did what its job then I re-enabled the frame rate target control globally and I got this um, I mean, exited the game went back in and this is what happened a much less stable frame rate just unnecessarily uh, less stable and this is exactly what I was experiencing in the game I saw the frames were you know the frame monitor was definitely not uh, you know going as well I was like hmm what's going on so this is an issue because I'm concerned about like if AMD is going to promote their Radeon settings and have this as a feature well if it's not gonna work as good if it's actually gonna make some games worse well without question you should leave it off by default. Um, let's start with that. Do not enable Radeon settings uh, by default because it's going to affect the games that matter uh, in a way that you don't want. It's clearly the case. Now, all that said, um, this gets really interesting. Is I've seen and read and experienced some things with RTSS that I've basically seen that this thing works really, really well. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if one is borrowing something from the other or what their technique is or if the frame rate target control just hasn't really been fleshed out right yet. Um, but I've experienced really, really solid performance with the RTSS um, uh, you know, frame rate limit. So just for a final test to wrap this video up, I'm actually going to even set this at some crazy lower limit um, and I just want to see what level of stability comes out of it so like for example I'll put it at 40 which is you know one third frame rate uh, and just see what happens and see what kind of like stability I get out of it um, and then I'm gonna actually just gonna leave this alone so we're gonna close AMD Radeon settings and here we are with this again I'll run the game and I'll be back Okay, so here we are in the kind of final wrap up of this video. First thing is, is it's, it was a good thing for me to double check that this actually was working or if it was pulling some magic that I wasn't aware of. But as you can see, putting it at 40 frames per second, mega stable, like super, super stable 40 frames per second during uh, gameplay and was really impressed. And the other things you gotta watch out for here is if you look, the GPU temperature is, I mean, across, uh, has been extremely stable at like really low 34 uh, not even in and the fan isn't even like turning on even though there's a pump going so that's not really an issue but the key thing to look at here is this is just super super stable this is really stable this is not stable frame rates and so going forward I hope that AMD picks this up and I hope that they realize that um, this is there's something going on and uh, it needs to be explained where if you use RTSS instead of their frame rate target, it just doesn't work as good. Um, and I've been really wary of this for quite a while now because I never really could figure out what was going on or if there was something wrong or something right. All I do know is that I have been using RTSS and it has been, for the most part, it's been spot on every time. So. Uh, for those who are who do have AMD and are running MSI Afterburner and uh, and also uh, the Radeon settings, keep in mind the combination of the two can be troublesome. Uh, the whole mix-up with a lot of people getting like their fan speeds dropping to nothing and then um, not you know basically overheating their their cards. Ha and what I've experienced has been the combination of these two things, of them working against each other and one dominating the settings versus the other. I'm going to continue to use the MSI Afterburner uh, tool as well as RTSS to make this uh, a better experience. And as you can see, like, sure, I put it at 40 and I mean, man, it just nailed it at 40. So I'm thinking maybe putting it at 60. I was putting it at like 62, but I guess it's not even necessary, right? Like. I'm curious if by putting it right at 60, if I even get it better than not. So, um, but I'll try it out some more. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I hope it was informative and that, you know, it can do some good for people uh, going forward.